Hello, I'm Mel, I'm socialmediatraffic.com, five best LinkedIn ways for getting more followers and growing engagement, last part C. Continues from part B. So next, why don't we talk about how to optimize our content moving forward. Now that we're getting in the flow, we're encouraging likes and engagements through intriguing ways and in compelling content, how can we test our content to see what's working, what's not, and improve moving forward. So first, you can test different types of posts and topic ideas to see what really works. So what are the different things you can test specifically? Topics. So does your network really appreciate marketing content? Do they appreciate content about, I don't know, specific tools to make their lives easier? Maybe only current news and things like that. Maybe they only like questions. Maybe they love questions because they can respond to them and they really enjoy the conversation. So as you're posting more, start experimenting and notice what topics really generate the most engagement. Because when you monitor those uh, statistics, you'll be able to learn from that and start posting more of the topics that your network really, really appreciates. And that's great. Another one is day and time. So another piece of interesting LinkedIn data, they've seen so far through what they've been able to observe um, at, in the meantime that Thursday is actually a really great day. So that's kind of neat. So maybe Thursday is the best day, or maybe not. Maybe your network might be completely different because they don't work on Thursdays, or maybe, maybe it's a consumer company, so weekends are best because that's when your customers aren't specifically, um, they're not at work, so they have more opportunity to shop and see your, see your company and visit your website. So experiment with the day and time to see if there's a specific day or time that really stands out. So Saturday versus Monday or 9 a.m. versus 5 p.m. And a great way to do that is just sprinkle a bunch of content throughout the day for a little while and see if there's a specific time that really stands out. And then finally, a third cool, that, uh, cool thing that you can test is maybe your voice and the tone of your, post, of your posts. So what do I mean by voice? Does your network really respond well to friendly tone? Maybe, maybe you're in academia and very, very specific, direct, and an academic style of writing is something that your followers respond really well to. And then tone, is it positive? Is it peppy? Is it simple? You name it and try a different style. You might already have a great sense of this, through the other marketing and communication collateral that you have, but, this, but maybe it's different on LinkedIn. So do a, little do a few tests to see what happens. So I talked about what to test, but I want to make it specifically clear what you will measure to understand if something is really resonating with your audience or not, if it is really driving results. So what are some of the things you can test? Number one, local to LinkedIn are some of the engagement metrics that you have. So really cool feature, after about 48 hours, each of your status updates will have all those stats that you'll see right there in the orange box. So the number of likes, the number of comments, and the impressions, engagement, you name it. So impressions are the number of people who saw your post at all. And that engagement percentage is the number of people who either clicked, commented, or liked, so those are the different ways someone can engage with a post over the number of impressions. So really interesting thing there. So you can use that engagement percent to compare some status updates to others. Is there a specific status update that really blew it out of the water? So of course I picked this one because I was really proud that it was such a high engagement. Maybe, but maybe you'll see some have 0 0.3, 0 0.8, maybe you'll have, I don't know, 3% that would be stellar. But use that engagement metric to see what's really, really working so you know what type of posts are really resonating with your audience so you can drive your, your metrics. Another one, so that's within specifically to the status updates. How about your follow growth? So as you're posting these status updates and people are engaging with them, is your reach growing over time? Are you generating more followers for your company page? And see if there's any specific boost in a specific month, you name it, so you can, tra you can track that back to a specific action that you might have done. Another interesting stat that I really like is looking at the type of people you're attracting to your page. So I'm happy to see that it looks like marketing uh, industry folks are the ones that are most likely to visit our page, and those are the ones that are coming back most often. So I think that's great and very important to us as HubSpot, which is a marketing software company. So really great that we're attracting the people that are best for our software. So we're excited to see that. What are some other cool stats? 
So for the fellow marketers out there who might be on this call, a uh, great thing that you can track, of course, we talked about the statistics before about LinkedIn uh, visitor to lead rate. You can track, of course, the amount of visits that are coming to your website from LinkedIn and the percentage of visit to lead. So and what are the leads overall that you're generating? This is really powerful because maybe you work with management who haven't fully bought into the idea of social media yet, which is too bad. But if you can have these types of numbers to back up your actions and prove true ROI, you'll be able to do more efforts on these networks that you'll prove that are really, really helping. I mean, think about it. To go back and say, hey, boss, did you know that we've generated a 1,000 leads or whatever it may be for your company via this network? We really should be investing more time and effort there. This is the type of results we have. You'll, be able to, you'll have a great argument on your hands, and you'll be able to get what you want. So always use ROI data to back up some of your social media efforts because that's really powerful. Excellent. So we have gone through the whole process. So now with all this information, you're growing a great reach. More people are coming to your company page and they're following you. You're starting to generate new followers. They're, they're understanding why it's so important. And now they're engaging with you even. They're seeing your status updates. They're clicking like. They're commenting. Maybe you did a fun little contest to help make that happen. And you're generating traffic to your website. So very, very great. Congrats to you. So what are our five next steps that you can do right now that will make some great homework? Let's talk about that. So number one, of course, enable status updates and add some admins. So you click that designated users, figure out who are going to be your admins, your status update folks that will be managing your company page, and add that. Of course, you need to be connected with them on LinkedIn, add them right there, and my tip before, make sure you add yourself, because most likely you will also be one of the people that will be doing that. Next, get over that initial hurdle and update your profile, do a status update. So maybe you take one of those questions that your customers ask most often and you add in a status update. Maybe you do a fun little contest, you name it. But just post something, say hello, you name it. No wrong answers here. It's really great to post something that will be helpful. Now do some of those interesting tests. So maybe it's tone, maybe it's timing, maybe it's content type, you name it. But as you're posting more and more, uh, start monitoring the engagement of your different status updates to see if there's something specific that really, really resonates and does very, very well. From there, encourage more interaction, do that contest, ask for the like, be direct, and that will really help you grow your reach even more because as more people are interacting with your content, that will be seen by their network and help you generate even more followers. And then, of course, like the good folks we are, we need to monitor results. Make sure what we're doing really is helping the bottom line. Make sure we really are growing our reach as much as we hope. And if you set goals in the beginning, how are you comparing to those goals? That will be really helpful. So when management comes up to you and says, how is the company page going? You will have some great numerical data to back up your efforts, and that's powerful. Social media traffic for tips and strategies, get free instant access, Go now to my website, imsocialmediatraffic.com.